In for Camargo. Camargo, and there it is. The Savo was planned. I like to dance, so when I scored against Edmonton, I knew that was coming. Squatty, can he find a second? It comes off of Sergio Camargo and into the back of the net. The Victoria one, I think I was just so tired from that sprint that I just, I stood in line. And kept in on the backside. And lovely, Camargo, what a finish with the right foot. That goal was a long time coming for me because I was coming back from an injury. And I just thought to myself, the next time I score at home, I'm going to come out and just celebrate with the fans. My first memories of playing were in Canada, and there's actually a field right beside my apartment. And my dad just signed me up when I was six, and that was the first time. Scored a lot of goals. There was a dad that was the assistant coach for Unionville, and he was just watching the house league, and he invited me and my dad to a, just a, a practice during the winter with the U7 rep team. And then that's, that was my first memory of just walking into the gym and there's like a new rep team. I'm like, oh, these guys are going to be good. TFC was great. It was a huge learning experience for me from U15 to all the way to like U18. I started off with Stuart Neely. He was an amazing coach that taught me a lot and gave me confidence to, for, for the player that I am today. Junior team, senior team, I progressed through, through all those. At 17, I went to a preseason with them and then that's when they said, Listen, we, we, we like you, but we think you should go to school, uh, develop a little bit more, and then, and then we'll see where you're at when you're, when, once you graduate. And I had an offer from Syracuse and from Coastal Carolina, where I ultimately went for my freshman, sophomore, and junior year. And then I decided to transfer to Syracuse my final year, my senior year, because they're just, they're just a bigger program. They were closer to Toronto, so it was easier for the scouts to, to come watch me play. That cross comes in. That's a good ball. Oh, it's in! Super Bowl to the back post. Homegrown contract with TFC. I was there for the 2017 season. And then they didn't pick up my option year, so that's when I started looking for other clubs. Nathan Ingham at York right now came, was actually going to Calgary to play for the, the Foothills team. And he, he said, Serge, why don't you come with me? You got nothing else right now. Keep playing soccer. And I'm like, you know what? That's my only option. I, I'll, I'll follow you. So we moved over here in May and just started building that relationship with Tommy because we both knew that he was going to be the head coach for Calgary the next upcoming year. And it just worked out. Um, I fell in love with Calgary and Tommy wanted to make me part of his team. Trapper with a little header. Jordan Brown, the substitute, and there's Camargo for the brace. The Barcelona influence, I would say, comes from the Unionville days. Uh, is a very technical coach. And the Bulldog influence, I think, is Tommy and, and just the culture of this club. That, just seeing that every day makes you, first of all, want and need to perform like that. Because I can't just be just jogging around on the field waiting for everybody else to do the work while I just have fun on the ball. I have to put in my, my, my work as well. Uh, Camargo should score and does score. And Catlery are back in it. And Camargo was all alone and curled it around Pantamis. The hamstring, so that was the, the first time it went. Had a lot of setbacks in that regard. So when I came back too early against York and, uh, and I felt it go again, that was, that was my biggest challenge. And just trying to get over that, not depression, but just that annoyingness of, oh, I have to do this again and try to go through rehab. I came back and I think I ended the season off strongly. And the pressure pays off after all this time, 75 minutes. Before CPL, if you wanted to play and you didn't have TFC, Vancouver, or Montreal as an option, you had to go away from your family and friends to play and chase the dream. This opportunity with this league was, like I said, a blessing for me, where I didn't have to sacrifice either one of what, what I loved. For me, building a career in Canada is, is a dream come true, and I would love to grow with the league and, and see where this league goes. We won a lot and uh, we expect to, to win, if not more, as many games as, as last year. I know it's a, a hefty goal, but that's the goal that we have set for ourselves and we don't want to go under that. And then for myself, just a lot of goals, assists and 100% effort every game.